Hello there, my name is Chris Menjerink. I'm a director here at DWD Technology Group, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Excel by Microsoft to access some data in Sage 100 Standard and Advanced. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got both Sage 100 and Excel open. I'm simply going to go to the Data tab in Excel. I'm going to click from other sources and from Microsoft Query. When I do so, it will show me what is called ODBC connections that are on my machine. One of those connections is called Soda Mass 90. I'm going to click on it and click OK. Here it asks me to sign in so I can pick from all my different company codes in Sage 100. In this case, we're going to do my ABC company code. Next, it's going to give me the query wizard. This wizard allows me to find the table that I would like to pull into Excel and bring it in. So this is going to be for AR customer. So I'm going to select my AR customer table. I can click the expand next to it and do row by row by row, or in this, start, in this case, column by column by column. I'm going to go ahead and just throw all of the columns into my worksheet. I'm going to click Next. Here I can select things to filter data by. So I may say, hey, state is equal to Indiana, let's say, or Ohio or California. So I can specify filters as needed. Okay, I'm going to click Next. I can also sort by. So I could say, you know what, go ahead and sort by the customer name. And then maybe let's sort by the state they live in. Click Next. Return data to Excel. Here you will see Excel is picking the upper leftmost corner of my worksheet. And I'm OK with that. So I'm going to click OK. Here it's going to prompt me again to log into Sage to make sure that I am allowed to do what I'm doing. And Inside of Excel, I now get a list of all my customers that I have in my Sage 100 system. I can scroll across and see every field that is in my Sage 100 customer table, including custom UDF fields. Hopefully this tip has been useful. Obviously you can build out this a little bit more, join in tables, many different things that can come with this, have a separate sheet that uses this data. Uh, really the sky's the limit if you're in a, an Excel user, an Excel guru. Um, you can do a lot of really neat and interesting things. What's really nice is when I save this workbook, if I come back to it at any time, I can come to the data tab and hit refresh all. Log back into Sage, again, checking rights that I'm allowed to do this. And it will refresh the information that is in my spreadsheet from my Sage 100 data. I hope you have found this to be a useful tip. Have a great day.